What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a monumental episode. Yeah, it really is. In the podcast. It's absolutely fitting. I mean, it's just, this is probably our biggest episode it, it is and the one we've been looking forward to most even since we started this thing and we're ha- also happy to announce that we're ending it after this no i'm just kidding <laughs> this is actually the last episode of the podcast <laughs> this is what we're working up to episode 69 <laughs> this yeah is- man you either fucking you know your podcast either lives um whatever that li- phrase you know is. whatever the phrase is it either lives, lives to be the meme or dies, dies as be- the, to become the villain yeah basically you either you either end it at episode 69 or you go past episode 69 and you're just another fucking podcast that didn't end when it should have. Yeah. Pretty, that's yeah. the phrase. I think yeah. that's how it, that's the phrase, right? That's exactly the phrase. Yeah. Um, I think it's very fitting that we get to do this on a casting couch. This actually looks like a casting couch. <laughs> know, this is this purple <laughs> Real, walls. real porn vibes right now. Yeah. When Matt, our tour manager, came in the room, he was like, yo, that, this setup just sketches me out, dude. It's always just a weird camera pointed at the couch. Like at some point, I fully expect like a dick just to just to Enter come in frame. from side of the frame, <laughs> just like you know what I mean. You don't even see the body that it's attached just to. A, it's just, just a, a dick that just comes in the side, like from this. the ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> pokes us in the face. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Ah, get that. Slap the dick out of the. <laughs> get that dick out of here. Penis is out of here. <laughs> well, in honor of episode sixty-nine, uh, Cody proposed that we uh, reminisce on our favorite. Memories of none other than Six Nine, <laughs> <laughs> the rapper. For the whole episode, yeah. I propose we do this. You know, just because it's I miss him. You know, um, no, I'm kidding. I don't really. He apparently beat the shit out of his girlfriend a whole bunch of times. No way. He's yeah. a bad dude. Yeah, yeah, crazy, right? Oh. Yeah. Who would have thought, man? Yeah. I mean, what are we really gonna say about this fool? As I'm said already. Yeah, it's true. It's just yeah. like he was a piece of shit. You know, I, I didn't feel bad for him going. To prison, but now I especially, especially don't feel bad mm-hmm. after this. How you hitting girls, dude? I know. I've never understood that. I know. I know. Hitting girls. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, doesn't make any sense to me, honestly. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Just don't do it. Yeah. Just right when you wind up, go, oh, you know, actually, no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> just that moment of, oh, no, this is a this is a woman. Yeah. I'm it's not going to do that. It's just... What the fuck? Don't even wind up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever, man. Um, <coughs> it's, Sorry, I I'm, find still, it, I'm still a little bit sick. I just want to apologize. I'm going to be coughing for this one. What's What's so funny to me about 6 9 is like he like pleads guilty and then agrees to cooperate. And I'm like, I don't know how much cooperating you can do to erase 47 years. Yeah, no. Like, that is so... Much snitching, dude. Yeah. No, you got to be telling on everybody. <laughs> like even the things that you know don't even get jail time. Yeah, yeah. just even you just know the littlest shit. Yeah, yeah. Like I like you know he. I saw him. He took somebody's wing yeah. one time. We had Chick Fil A. The and judge is like the guy left the room and he he ate like half the wings. And so then the guy came back in. I was like, where are the wings? And he said they he didn't know, but I saw him. He ate half them. So judge is like, okay. We'll take that one for five minutes. We'll knock down five minutes out out of the 47 years. (laughs) What else do you got? (laughs) Telling on every single person possible. I seen this dude jaywalking the other day. Okay. All right. Can you describe him? This random guy. Can we, if we get him in here, could you point him out? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Get that motherfucker in here. Yeah. He was jaywalking for sure. (laughs) Or no. Oh, no. Actually, no. It was a crosswalk. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It was totally legal. Are you sure? Yeah. That's like a full day off your sentence. Oh, yeah. He was jaywalking. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I just, I can't, I can't feel bad for him, man. The The only thing that I think came out of it that was like, I don't know, I guess positive in a way. It's like all these like New York rappers, like this dude, my son was like, he was like, man, when all of us like older New York rappers came out and said that this dude is like faking, he's not really from the streets and all that stuff. You guys called us old. You called us haters. And we said he was going to get caught up and look what the fuck happened. And he's like, and his own people tried to kill him. 
And the whole time we were trying to tell you kids, like the streets is not for anyone. Like it, 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 it's a dead end. This lifestyle gets you killed. So I guess I'm kind of glad that these dudes, I don't know. They got the, they got what they needed to be like, yeah, fucking told you so. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess maybe, I don't know. And I kind of feel that way too. Like, Looking at him talk all that shit, act that way, and he gets 47 years. I'm like, yeah, bitch. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. You won, dude. Mm-hmm. You're, the, you're the hardest out. Yeah. <laughs> so. It really is the craziest, like, uh, making it story and then falling out mm-hmm. I've ever. Like, it's just insane. To go from zero to that to back to zero. Yep. Less than zero. Less than zero, for sure. In a, in a year, in the span of, like, eight months. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yep. Anyways, I, we, I didn't actually want this episode to be about 69. <laughs> I just said that as a joke, and now we actually fucking did it. Um, when was the first time you 69 Very first time I 69 <laughs> Are you saying very first time I listened to his music? Or <laughs> yeah, that- no, the first time you yelled stupid in the subway. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. Man, the very first time I 69 Actually? Yeah. I'm trying to remember really- myself. I mean, I'm, I, remember, I, remember like th- I remember having like a conscious thought the first time I did it. And mm-hmm. I was like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. This is sick. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm like, I'm pleasuring someone else. But Wild. then But then I'm getting pleasure, and it just makes me want to give more pleasure. Yeah. I'm like, this is some weird fucking perpetual motion yeah. shit. I'm like, I thought that this didn't even exist. <laughs> I, th- I didn't think it was possible, you know? Oh, oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's how, um, that's that's how we're going to power the future. Yeah. That's our non-GMO future right there. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. a cool circular, you know, Rube Goldberg machine of pleasure. Yeah. That's what it is. We're going to harness that to power the earth. Yeah. Uh, finally deal away with all this. I learned that um, in Claire's latest book. I'm not going <laughs> to leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Like Claire Michelle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that the first 6 9 is always cool. Because it's like... <laughs> it also like, felt like a little bit taboo, you know? Yeah, you're like, oh, oh, uh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Keith. Keith. You know? And then I feel like guys always take it too far. They're like, and then she's got to stop. She's like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Thrusting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's graphic. That's graphic. Yeah, we're going full, by the way, we're going full sex themed for this episode. Yeah, I mean, just. Probably. I don't know. Maybe no, we shouldn't. We could talk about. We got a, some complaints last time. Yeah, it was too much. There's a lot of things that relate to 69, though. Just the number. Okay. Okay. Like 69 Camaro. Yeah, it's a great car. Yeah, it's a great car. A pretty cool car. Camaro. Yeah. So, uh, it is uh, nothing like a uh, Chevy Silverado. I forget the dude. Mm-hmm. Some dude on YouTube did that character. Chevy Silverado. <laughs> Let's, we talked about the show last night. That was a bit of a 69. It was yeah, a bit of was a, it? How was it at sixty nine? I mean, we, you know, we we delivered pleasure, and then the audience pleasured us back by <laughs> kind of true validating our jokes, and it's we just good. lived in this beautiful relationship with each other. It was it was so beautiful. You know, we they yeah, we, sucked us off. We with fucking that laughter. ate the crowd's pussy. Yeah, dude. we ate them out so good. <laughs> we went down on them. We went down on that crowd one at a we time. We ate and, the shit out of the crowd's. Box. Yeah, we ate that and box, assholes. Dude. Yeah, yeah, we went, we went, we went to the taint a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, crowd is loving it. It was a really fucking fun show. Uh, uh, Philly also, uh, it, it, man. Okay, every show we thought was gonna be, my neck is hurting. I got to give up. Okay, yeah, go for um, it. relax, dude. No, 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 load off. <laughs> every show that I think we thought was gonna be rowdy as fuck ended up being. So cool. Yeah. And every show we thought was going to be chill and relaxed was yeah. rowdy as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone from St. Louis commented, like, you never said anything about the St. Louis show. Yeah, we did. Go back a couple episodes. Yeah. You motherfuckers need Adderall. <coughs> uh, shout out to Philly, though. You guys were so dope and focused. And they really, like, you. they were listening. Yeah, yeah, no, it was crazy. It, Okay, so Boston wasn't so great. Boston was <laughs> just a bad venue. Yeah. Like, that, the venue, would, like, half the people, it was standing. Again, it was, like, this, you know, kind of, like, a kick-ass shitty, like, punk rock venue. But only uh, and for it was music. In a, in a basement. Yeah, yeah, So, like, very, I don't know, yeah. It was I, only just made for, for music. like, punk and shit like that. So, it was in a basement, and, like, you know, it's, like, f- it was, like, 500 people or something. 650. Packed, 650 packed in there standing. Yeah. And half, probably... More than that, actually, probably two thirds of the people couldn't see the 
the the projector, screen. which is like you know half half an hour of our show basically is yeah. like referring to what we have on the projector. So it's just like the the you know, and they were like super fucking rowdy because everyone had been to the uh, Patriots parade that day. Yeah, and, and everyone got a kiss from Tom Brady, and it was just like so overwhelmingly cool that that's what we heard is that tom brady actually came down off the float and kissed every single person that was there on the mouth (laughs) i said that at the show and everyone started cheering which uh (laughs) first off i want to say i appreciate everyone coming out to the boston show and standing at the show but why are you cheering for this man (laughs) kissing you in the face dude (laughs) you guys were so excited about that i've never seen a cult so big for a man so vanilla yeah dude I know. <laughs> Just the most regular ass I know. dude. I mean, apart from being, you know, a great quarterback or whatever the fuck. He just such is such a, like, the guy, like, prides himself in eating salads. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, and people are like, what's your secret to the game? He's like, you know, it's my diet. <laughs> like, ugh. Fuck you, man. That's what we wanted to hear. Great. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing about your training. Nobody wants to hear. No, but, like, nobody wants to hear the actual answers to shit like that because it's, like, boring. It's like, yeah, I bet you, honestly, I bet you your diet does, is the secret to your success. That's the, but it's boring. Yeah, true. No one wants to hear that answer because no one wants to do it. Yeah. No one wants to be the guy that eats salads and changes his <laughs> life, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, I want Tom Brady to be this fucking, like, he, savant with some weird, like, meditative fucking, you know, technique that he uses to throw the ball like he does, <laughs> yeah. you know? So, so, so. I don't want to know that if I eat salads, I can succeed. I don't want to know that because that's a sobering truth and I don't want to eat salads. <laughs> You're just hoping it's like a X factor, so you can always just be like, "Well, I'm never gonna be that, so why try?" Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, totally. No, yeah. and nobody else wants to either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Reporter getting pissed, like, "Oh, dude, come on, come on, bro, really, really, just n- nothing." Yeah, no, it's just salads. Oh, you know my. Be- <laughs> He's like, "All right, all right, fine. I <laughs> don't know the big secret, okay? Prune juice." <laughs> Motherfucker, really? <laughs> Every other quarterback, yeah, my training, you know, I'm in there six days a week, my coach, this, that, and you're going to come out here, best quarterback of all time, and you're going to say, prune juice? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, a little gross, but, you know, you drink a glass of that a day, a lot of fiber, keeps the system moving. Come on, give me something then, else, man. Well, some good sleep on top of that. It's not only prune juice, you got to get some good sleep. Three, two. And I kiss my son. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I kiss my boys on the lips. Man, he be kissing everybody on the mouth. Yeah, he kissed that the owner. Yeah. The, afterwards, <sighs> that's weird, right? That's super weird. When's the last time you kissed a man on the lips? Probably my dad when I was in. Fucking, I don't know. Like, I don't even know. I can't remember the last time I kissed my dad on the lips. Mm, that is something my dad never did, and was exclusively like, we don't do that in this house. <laughs> I mean, I definitely did it. Mm. I just can't remember. It ended at a very young age. Yeah. You know? It what was really funny is after that whole thing, and I don't want to go back to old issue or whatever, but all those dudes on Twitter, like, bragging about kissing their kids on the mouth. <laughs> just, like, taking pictures. Like, I'm conservative, and I kiss my... It's like... What? <laughs> it was just, like, this huge... It was, like, another one of those, like, shitty, like, <laughs> you know... Shit the diapers to <laughs> to kill the libs situation. Oh, like this weird dude. The cut off the Nike symbol shit. Yeah, it was it was one another one of those. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I kiss my daughter and I'm proud. Mm-hmm. I kiss my yeah. son and I'm proud. Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, just 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 back up a second and you gotta realize that you're posting a picture of you yeah. kissing your children on Twitter for what like what reason? Why? Yeah. Keep those just for your personal yeah. things. Yeah. That's it anyway. So I saved all those pictures, and God damn it, it's a really good, you know, and I'm really feeling, when I'm really feeling Randy. Yeah. You pop in those? Yeah. The archives? And yeah. No, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's gross. That's absolutely disgusting. That's super gross. Oh, you just sexualized it, man. You're a fucking creep. Uh, yeah, last night was really cool. Philly is really dope. Yeah, so we came from Boston, and then on our way from Boston to Philly, our fucking brus, brus? Our brus. Our, our brus, brus broke, broke brown. brown. Our brus broke brown. Our bus broke down right outside of Boston, and yeah, how um, do I even skip that whole number? That is like the biggest issue. Yeah, yeah we were sitting on the bus, and fucking stupid me. I watched a documentary till four in the morning. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I'll wake up at twelve, and then like three or four hours later, Matt comes in and he's like, "Yo, guys, we might have to go." And I'm like, "No, 
Yeah. Please. Yeah. We're just on the freeway. Just <laughs> We're just fucking, yeah, parked on the side of the freeway. We'd been sleeping there all night. <laughs> Had and no I idea. knew. As soon, I woke up in the night and I heard just fucking, like the bus would, you know, like move a little bit every single time a car went by. I'd be like, Whoa. And like vibrate a little bit. And I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, why aren't we moving? <laughs> and so I started like getting like, you know, mid sleep freak out that like a car was just going to fucking come full sp- full no. highway speeds and Dude. right into the back of us. I always think that shit. And so I was freaking out. And then we woke up or they, he woke us up early and was like, yeah, the bus broke down. We got to fly to Philly. And so we just got an Uber from the side of the highway to the Philly airport. Yo, our packed Uber. whatever we managed to pack. Our Uber driver was so funny, man. He was this Haitian dude. Yeah, that was pretty and funny. It, you know, he was like, I think weirdly we kind of needed that because he was just kind of like happy and positive. And I feel <laughs> like if we had anyone else like more tense, like it would have made the situation annoying. We picked his up and he's like, just dumb nice. And we're driving, but here's the funniest part. We're driving for a minute. We're all like looking kind of just pissed off. He's like, you want music? <laughs> And Matt goes, nah, we're good. He goes, okay. And he turns on Haitian music. <laughs> Which is the dopest yeah. music ever. Yeah. Like the happiest goddamn music. Yeah, it's so like, he put it on and I'm like, yo, this shit's relaxing. <laughs> and then just like, he, like he read my mind. Like as I'm listening to it, I'm kind of, I'm vibing out. Okay, yeah. And he's just like, this is Copa. I'm like, thanks, dude. I'm like trying to Shazam it and not look fucking <laughs> ignorant. Like. <laughs> Yeah, that shit was super relaxing. We got to go through the weird backwoodsy part of Boston. I don't even know it's back. Milford? Yeah, that area was rich as fuck, dude. Yeah, them houses were nice. Insane. Like, every house came with just a big old plot of land. Yep. And turnaround driveways. And it was like, I'm sure there's something bad about Milford that we don't know. Yeah, probably. But it looked pretty dope, honestly. Yeah. It looked like old money, you know? Yeah, that. Yeah, it looked like old money for sure. Like, you, you know, pay millions for a house and it still creaks. Yeah. Oh man, and we went through that shit. We got to the Boston airport, which was surprisingly straightforward. So everything was cool, but yeah. Dude, yeah, fucking airport was deserted. We walked through security. We got pre check, which is cool. I don't have pre check, so like, I don't know how the fuck that happened. We walked onto the plane. The plane was empty. So we all got a row to ourselves, and the flight was smooth as fuck. Honestly, probably the best flying experience I've had in such a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So it actually kind of was a blessing a it little was. bit. You well, know, that's well what bit. happens when shit like that. You know, one door closes. Another one opens, man. Two more open. <laughs> open. <laughs> you know what they say, man? One door closes. The pre-check line opens up. It's exactly. Just, that's a, what they say. That's what the old saying goes. You know, it's just uh, mole's going to mole. Mole's going to dig. Bruh's going to bruh. Bruh's going to bruh's gonna fing. Yeah. So we did Philly. Great show. Yeah, great. That venue was fucking awesome. Shout out to that venue, man. What was it, it called? <laughs> How do we even forget? Or something like that? Oh, the Electric Factory. It, was it? Yeah. Okay. So fucking dope. Uh, you know, Meek has performed like in that room. <laughs> A lot of people have. But really? Yeah, Matt was like, yo, I saw Meek Mill here. And I'm like, damn, we don't deserve to be here. <laughs> Dude, that's the same. Also, the same place they shot Creed, the first one. Remember when he was having an argument? With yeah. The guy, and he's like, yo, let me get a flick for the gram. And they got in a fight. Yeah. And he punched a he punched the guy or punched through the wall or some shit. Okay. I forget what happened in the scene. I think he punched the guy. Mm-hmm. But when they were shooting it, he punched through the wall by accident. Okay. And it wasn't a good take, so they had to have someone come in, rebuild the wall, like repair the wall, wow. let it dry, and then shoot again that night. Wow. Yeah. How crazy is that? Sweet. It was kind of cool, just like being. I love that. Oh movie, yeah. Dude, Creed. Um, I have terrible memories. So I don't remember anything from that movie. It's a great movie. So, yeah, we um, got down, and then we had... That was my first time having a real Philly cheesesteak. Is that yours? Yes, first time ever. God damn. I know, that shit was so good. Damn good. So different from what L.A. cheesesteaks are. L.A. cheesesteaks are just fucking cheeseburgers and hot dog buns. I don't think I've ever had an L.A. cheesesteak. Really? Yeah, I don't think I've ever even ordered it, because I'm just like, I know it's just going to be shitty. Yeah, I've gone to a bunch of places, and it's just... No, the, the fucking... Philly one was unreal. Yeah. Cheese Whiz and American cheese melted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, would, I 69 that thing. <laughs> I ate it. <laughs> I ate one side and then I put the, put the other, other side, side on, on, on my dick. Mm, 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 mm. That's uh, so gross, dude. <laughs> Just 
Just imagine a dude trying to suck his own dick. He can't make it happen. <laughs> He's like, wait. And he gets the, it's like, that's the bridge to sucking himself off. Yeah. Bro, but, fucking, I was watching um, uh, David Dobrik's, like, most recent vlog today. Yeah. They go into this. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> they go into this shop and 69 each other. No, they go into, like, a, a plastic surgeon's office. Okay. Because, you know, Jonah? Yeah. He wants to get his penis enlarged. I can talk about this, but go ahead. Okay, you can? No, no, okay. no, 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 no. Okay, no. okay. I have something peripheral. Thing. Okay, okay, anyway. okay. So, go So on. they're sitting there, and they're, like, getting, like, I, I, I was, it was weird, man. I don't know if it was serious or not. I don't know if he's actually going through with it or what, but, like, the nurse comes in, or, like, one of the doctors or something, and mm-hmm. she's, like, basically, like, analyzing him, and he, like, everyone's in the room, and he just fucking takes off his shit. And he's like, he's like, real, real talk. Like, how small is my dick? Have you ever seen anything smaller? And she was like, she was like, well, I've seen one that's like the same size as yours. And he's like, but you've never seen any dicks that are smaller. And she's, she was like, she was like, no. And he's like, so I'm the smallest dick that you've seen. Oh, how, how, dude? And then, and then the episode ends, and I'm like, I don't. What do I think of that? That's got to be fake, man. You that's, think so? That, that's some script. That's such an easy joke to get by. I Can you just know, say man. that it's the smallest one you've ever seen? Yeah, but also, like, is he going? Is he getting his dick enlarged? Why right. would they even go there? All right. So what I was gonna say yeah. is, I did a little react video on Twitch to some BBC doc of, of these guys getting penis fillers. Is that what it is? You just because they were talking about inject. The doctor was like, "Yeah, basically, we take fat cells from." Certain areas of your body, and we inject them into your dick. Yeah, I mean, there's that. I okay. So in this one, it was like silicone. Okay. It was like a cosmetic thing. Okay. And uh, that's actually one of my Twitch emotes is the diagram of a penis and like <laughs> okay. how it works. Okay. Because it looks like a face. Okay. So it's just like a dude, just like shocked, like. So, yeah, and these dudes, I mean, not just in the dock, like people get, and it's like the equivalent to lip fillers. Yeah. So it fattens it up. What was funny was in you that. You got to keep getting them though. Yeah, you you have to keep going back in. Okay. So it's like even if I thought he was gonna go through with it and do it, it's like it's not a big deal. It's like it wears away and you have to go back for more. But what's funny was in the video I watched, this dude goes there with his girl, and his girl is like, "Um, I'm just concerned it's not gonna fit." Okay. So like this dude, I was like, "Oh fuck this! He's double dipping. He's already he's he's already good." <laughs> yeah, well, so oh, oh, so he was already like big or like decent yeah, size. De- yeah, and he was just because like, the, and what I laughed at in the video is like the two guys. One of them, his smile is like kind of weak and wry, like mm, like like just please put it like he needs it. Yeah, and then the other dude is like like his eyes are like lit up. He's like looks electric to oh, get this Jesus. shit because he's <laughs> he's like he's like just outside porn cock, and he's like I can get there. That's ridiculous I can you don't get need, there you don't need it you don't but I mean he probably stands in the mirror like <laughs> look at this fucking shit <laughs> just like yeah. rocking back and forth <laughs> hitting his knees <laughs> <laughs> alright look at this bruv it's like a salmon <laughs> 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 yeah dude so oh so he, he doesn't go through with it I don't I don't know it just ended I don't know I mean maybe he did man it's crazy though dude that dude's shameless Man. Yeah. Just to fucking drop trowel like that in front of everyone and be like, so <sighs> do I have the smallest dick in the world or what? I, I mean, I, I was I, like, damn. I commend the confidence, dude. It's me too. That's what I'm saying. That's jackass level confidence. Seriously. Yeah. It really is, man. It really is. Some Eric Andre shit. Mm-hmm. Except Eric Andre, <laughs> you ever seen him pose naked on Instagram? Uh, I think I Googled it after I watched the Hot Ones episode. I mean, like. they were talking about him posting like full frontal nudity and I was, and I was kind of like, all right, I'm going to see how big his biggest dick is i mean i think i was following him at the time and, and you it, saw i was just like whoa yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so funny to just post that shit on instagram it's so fucking funny full frontal nudity and just like the, just like, the lighting's you. all shitty too like because like, every i feel like that's the way to get attention on instagram now is not to have like a high-res photo it's got to be a piece of shit photo oh yeah yeah because you're sure. like what the fuck is and then just oh yeah. oh that's a dick <laughs> whoa <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. When you when he said that, I was like, I, I gotta see what this fool's dick looks like. <laughs> I gotta see, dude. I've been looking at some gay shit on Instagram. 
dude, listen to this fucking song, dude. I'm fucking gay. I'm fucking gay. I'm fucking gay. I mean, like, it's not like, I mean, this is, this, this is some, this is bi shit. This is, this is not just gay shit. I couldn't believe this, though, dude. What is it? I'm going to play it right into the mic. Look at this shit. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Holy <laughs> shit. I couldn't believe this shit. I'm like, yo. <laughs> Pushing rap forward, man. That's yeah, crazy. That's some fucking man. It's just I was looking at this film like, yeah, dude, we're 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 gonna become Rome. <laughs> like we're Greece, or whatever the fuck. All that's left is <laughs> like everyone's gonna go naked. <laughs> You're gonna get shamed into liking everything. Yeah. What yeah. You, what you mean you don't go both ways? Yeah. You straight or something? Yeah. What? 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 You because, straight? Little straight boy? Straight little bit. Kiss me right now. What? No, man. It's just <laughs> it's like a oh oh oh. So you you weird? You weird? No, I'm not. I'm not weird. <laughs> you you strange? <laughs> no, I'm not. Stra- Kiss me right now then. <laughs> Kiss me on the lips. Tom Brady. Come on. I just, I kind of don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. What's the name of that guy? I don't know. It's just like, <laughs> I, just, I don't even know how I end up down these rabbit holes on Instagram. I'm just like, what's the weirdest shit I can find? <laughs> uh, it doesn't say. Ooh, man. I mean, A-W- <laughs> he said, he said, what do you say? I still want the pussy and your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I want the pussy and your butt, dude. Everyone kind of bars. Bu- everyone listen to that like, okay. Yeah, all right. It's kind of Wait, well, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, you want you want my what? Bars. Bars. Oh, bars. Bars, bro. Bars. Well, that is a uh, yeah, that's the new face of rap, dude. Mm-hmm. By the, the Openly buy shit, not mm-hmm. like the thug, like kind of sexually ambiguous. Yeah, like, not like young thug, not yeah, like nah. we're smoking penises. Yeah, nah, not it's like just, that because then you're kind of like, well, is it? What is he talking about? No, nah, it's just on the nose. He's, like, he's like, no, I'm sucking dick and eating box and eating box. <laughs> just gets on stage. Yo, I'm sucking everybody off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all nutting tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kissing every dude in the mouth tonight. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, well, someone who is the dead opposite is motherfucking Bieber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they say that they waited till marriage to have sex. Yeah, they did. Apparently, <laughs> because he um, he's he been getting religious recently, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't read the article, so I just read like snippets, and then Kelsey told me like what he said mm. about that. But it was something like it's something to do with Jesus and how Jesus didn't have I. I don't know, but it basically boiled down to him like feeling like a shitty person for fucking a lot of people, and that's then like, fair. so he like wanted to be pure or something for. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. They apparently like the article was like a little bit, like they just talked about how hard marriage is, and it's like marriage probably shouldn't be that hard when you're first start, like when you're first married, first couple years, you know, like the yeah. honeymoon, the buds from the honeymoon still there. Yeah, that's you're still be. like you know in the grand scheme of things you're still kind of like a newish couple mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. in terms of marriage yeah. in terms of the timeline of marriage you're still like in the good phases right it probably yeah. shouldn't be that tough right when you're starting out yeah kind of just sounded like they were just dealing with like being in a relationship when you're 25 but yeah. they've already committed to it for life you know <laughs> <laughs> oh man me and Elena are so deep it ain't even gonna yeah that's what I mean like would you would you like would you like if you ran into the same problems you you do you have now right yeah but you were married would you say yeah marriage is hard no mm-hmm. you'd say uh, marriage is the same yeah relationships are hard yeah relationships are hard yeah for sure for sure dude oh for sure <laughs> oh man we're so deep in it dude a couple of rings could just fall out of a box and we'd be like oh yeah these are cool <laughs> there you go <laughs> I now pronounce us. 
you know, man, this is a thing. Man, She's like, yeah, 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 just did you do the dishes? <laughs> no, I'll do it later. Read some of those relationship advice things. Oh, bro, bro. All right. So I'm not a huge, I'm not a Redditor. I just, I'm on it all the time. Okay. Yeah, I don't really so. use Reddit. I just, you know. You're on it all the time. I'm just on it all the time. Yeah. Now, I've been trying to, you know, cu- I've been curating my my Reddit intake. And it's, <laughs> first of all, my feed is just fucked up <laughs> all the time. Just bad shit. And this, though, <laughs> out of all the fucked up videos and cringe videos I see on Reddit, r- the relationship advice subreddit is so... Just unbelievably fucked up. These scenarios, I can't. Whew, whew. I know that one that you read. You want to explain that one? Which one? The shit one. Oh yeah, that was on the best of. That was another fucking level, dude. Yeah, that of was weird. The dude says, "Uh, yeah, my wife wants to uh experiment. I oblige, and she tries to eat my feces, <laughs> and it started with." Like their friends like were were into pegging and then I guess they kinda got around to like, yeah, why don't we try it? And then it evolved into her, as he described it, trying to catch a turd falling out of his ass <laughs> with her mouth. <laughs> now, no, dude. now that one I'm a little skeptical on. That's the first one I've been skeptical on. <laughs> but <laughs> the way he ended it was like the end of the post was like Wow, I didn't expect this to blow up. My wife has seen it. <laughs> That's the worst part. Yeah. That is the worst part. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that sh- fucking scenario, dude. You describe this whole just intimate problem, intimate weird fucking problem you're having in your relationship. And then the other party sees it and knows like not only <laughs> what you think about it, but how you explain it, you know? Oh, like the, the way this guy explained this scenario, he was like, yeah, I wish... <laughs> I was like, the turd was coming out of my ass, and I saw that her mouth was wide open, so like I tried to pull the turd back in so that it didn't go in her mouth, and I pinched off a little bit, and I, I couldn't look at where it went because I was so disgusted that it might have gone in her mouth. Like, imagine being the wife and reading that <laughs> after the fact. Oh my how God. the fuck? No, how the fuck you even get to that point? I would never be squatting over my <laughs> wife. Like, if shit is coming out of my body, there is no one else in the room. There's no one else in the room. So the fact that he's even there, and it hits him then that he's like, "Oh God, what am I doing?" It's like, no, nah, man, you were, oh, you were almost there. I want to go to Bieber. Yeah, and be like. What did you say? Marriage is hard. Read <laughs> <No>. this shit. <laughs> Read this. You want to know? You want to know? You want to see actual marital problems? Read this, dude. <laughs> We're twelve years deep, and I let her peg me just to keep things, <laughs> just to keep things healthy. <laughs> She's trying to eat my turds. God forbid. With dude, with how <laughs> fucking horny and fucked up we are from the internet and porn, that's gonna be everybody when we're like forty. Yeah. You think oh, so? I do guarantee we're all going to be resorting to weird shit to keep stuff interesting. Because, like, every dude and, you know, c- select females watching this podcast or listening to it, we're, we're all corrupted from shit. I say, select, yeah. I say select women because women are smart. And they, don't, they don't engage porn. Yeah. Which is probably the, the best thing. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> we, we just chuckle at, like, shit falling in a mouth. I've seen shit go close to to a mouth yeah. on the internet. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> yeah. But there are a lot of women who have never, you know. No, no, because they, you know, porn is like a, I feel like mo- in most cases for women, it's like a special, it's like a thing they throw on once every yeah six months. Just to be like, you know. Ooh, let's. Be, yeah, and it's like let's be quirky. Yeah, yeah, and they throw on the fucking you know the like the softest shit you've ever seen. Not that, but like <laughs> with the vixen shit or whatever the shit that's like super high. Like, yeah, it's like produced. It's yeah. got like the glow effect on every on every hey, scene bitch, they use. I love that the universe shit. Too. Shit. I love that. <laughs> no, but like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like it's not like the amateur fucking just yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> some some dude with a handheld camera pointing down <laughs> and going yeah yeah suck that shit. <laughs> it's like there's an actual like crew and like an editor does his thing on it and stuff yeah. like that. You know, I, man, I I would get too drawn into those. <laughs> like damn, why they shoot these on these? <laughs> 
He's on, he's on Master Prime. <laughs> he just start watching to... porn like a director. Yeah. Oh man, and these he uses <laughs> beautiful anamorphic lenses, and you get this like nice just distortion on the edges. It's just oh, Noel jacks off to the gear yeah. in those videos. <laughs> yeah, just read the camera list. Yeah. Oh yeah. You see the boom in one of the shots, and you keep going back to that shot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at that oh. thing. Oh, I dipped it in the frame. <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting off on the blunders. Yeah. yeah. You fucking idiot. Oh, dip it in. Dip it in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone can see it. Look at that, you fucking idiot. Oh. Oh, I'm such a good film director. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at my job. Oh, I'm a master creative. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dudes are more of like a, dudes are more like porn's like a normal thing. Yeah, it's just you're going to you know? consume it and shit it out. Yeah. Yeah, to the point where like you're casually on e-fucked uh-huh. and you're just like, you know, regular porn just escapes you. Mm-hmm. You're like, yo, saran wrap over her mouth. Ma- what is this? <laughs> I mean, I just got to. <laughs> Even for 10 seconds. You know, it's crazy. Is I think we're in this. Uh, you know, it's crazy, dude. What's well, crazy, dude? I feel like we're in this uh, shit. We're now. We're definitely old because I'm starting to get weird videos of people being like, "Uh, you want a weird DM? Here's a weird video." And I'm getting like old ass porn clips that were like when we were like fucking sixteen. No way. Yeah. Like, do you remember the one with the uh with the <laughs> the chick like stuffing all the cake in her pussy? <laughs> What? I don't think I ever saw that one. You never saw that one? I don't one? think so. Ah, I forget cake the Cake farts? I think it was cake farts. Oh, yeah, I saw cake farts. Yeah, when she's like sitting in it. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, she, doesn't, she never like mushes it in there. She I just she, like, sits on the cake, I thought sits she, like, up, and she farts. And then she sits on the cake, she sits up, and she farts. I thought she, like, she keeps going, oh. <laughs> like it's like w- super pleasurable okay. for her some for some reason. I thought there was a portion where she like flipped it around and was just like mushing it and like being disgusting. I don't think so. I don't think that was ever part of cake farts, but whatever. Yeah, okay. and then she did meatloaf farts. Remember that? I I refused that. Okay, one. okay. I refused that. That one. was so just bad. Meatloaf already. I just I don't like that. As oh a yeah, dish. no, it's gross as fuck. Yeah, but it was like that was like a crazy. That was the only way she like, could have topped herself, you know, <laughs> is by doing it on some gross, gross as meatloaf. That that's where I feel like I'm, I'm like not as gross. Like I'm not a full up dude. Where I'm like I see nasty shit like that, and I just trust it. I'm like, yeah, I bet it's worse, and I just don't engage. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You know, like I saw like you know kids in a sandbox and two girls one cup, uh-huh. and then you know I heard about the. Ass in the like the jar in the ass. Oh yeah, I didn't. I never watched yeah, that I'm one. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I never watched I that one. I bet that one's bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, so <laughs> bad probably. <laughs> you know? Do you? Do you ever? I mean, we talked about the, the the claim that the two girls one fuck, two girls one fuck was fake. Two girls one fart. Yeah. <laughs> My brain is just melted. No, two girls Imagine one that. cup was fake. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Apparently, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Um, but yeah, someone sent me cake <laughs> farts the other day, so now, I, have, I don't know. It's crazy to think that, like, I would think there would be a whole new generation of, like, fucked up porn clips and the fact that just all the classics keep <laughs> resurfacing. Yeah, we, we just did it so well, <clears throat> our mm-hmm. generation. Yeah. Our generation just fucking blew it out of the water that nobody can top it. Because cause we did shit uh, <laughs> that was like, this will only get 50 views. Yeah. You know, uploading a video to the internet, man, mm-hmm. no one's going to see this yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, you know, it's just going to go on some random website. Uh, no one's ever going to. Wait, I'm sorry. What? What's Reddit? <laughs> I'm sorry. What's Reddit? Yeah. What's Reddit? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm wondering now. Like I'm thinking in my mind, like the connection of memes and and porn clips. Like, why aren't there new like shocker porn clips that go viral? Like, that's not something that happens now. I I think the only ones now are like screen caps where they like you know like people you know <laughs> when you're when the burrito like when <laughs> Like when the burrito's too good and it's like a gay guy, it's like fuck, you're thick. It's like it was like that stuff. That, yeah, but I'm saying there's but not no- like shocker porn. The only shocker porn clip we've seen was that chick squirting all over the place. That's the first one I've seen in a minute. Of no, like, but that wasn't even that shocking. I'm talking about like the one, like the why isn't there any nowadays the shit that's like you know like a, a domain that like, you go to and it's one fucking yeah, video. Yeah, like a two girls one cup. Yeah, yeah, that's or true. Uh, or uh, Mr. Hands or whatever. Yeah. Remember that shit. <laughs> That was like one domain. You just went to the domain and it popped up. Or no, Lemon Party. Lemonparty.org. Lemon party. 
yeah. fucking went to that shit and it's just boom right there why isn't there modern day versions of that anymore because <laughs> no meat one, spin fucking no, meat spin no one uses the internet like that anymore that's what i'm saying they're too busy making stupid fucking memes on instagram <laughs> yeah, there no, needs like, to be more shocker porn clips yeah dude we yeah there, there really hasn't been like a good one in a minute <laughs> Not like, cause the, and the other crazy part is like two girls, one cup, and all those Mister Hands and all that shit. Everyone was talking about that. Like oh yeah, serious XM radio guys yeah. would always harm. Like, yo, you seen this shit? Yeah. And and, and like, like radio personalities were doing challenges to like what, yeah, whatever the fuck. And you just don't, yeah, you just don't get that. That's weird, right? It really is. I wonder what it is uh, about the internet nowadays and people and. I think it's just too. A lot of it's just too corporate. Like you can't get a clip like that to go around. Like you, you can only catch it on an account like fucking drilled, you know. And it'll get reported in like however long. That's like, yo, you see that clip on drilled? Like, nah. No, but the internet's the internet. You can still host something on a, on a domain. No, what? And I, the I, domain okay, can yeah, go yeah. viral. I no, that's what I mean. Is I don't think people will click through to a link anymore. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Like the that's, only the only way they'll consume it is like if you drop it in their Instagram DMs and they like can play it right there. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, if I send you lemonparty.org, people are like, I'm not clicking that. Uh-huh. Huh. Which is crazy. You know what's funny is someone came, this is, uh... Someone came sorted, all someone came over my ass. my ass. <laughs> now, this is, like, this is, like, somewhat not really related, but I'm just thinking about, like, internet trends and shit like that. Some girl during one of the VIP meet and greets. Yeah. She came, she's like, I have a question for you. And I was like, okay. She goes, do you think that, um... There's a, th- there's, a, there's a theory going around Tumblr right now about yeah, yeah, yeah. Wade secretly being gay or something. What On, did she say? Yeah, yeah. She was like, Some, there's a theory that, um, that Wade burning is a metaphor for him being gay. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I was like, I, wait, I was like, what? There's a theory on Tumblr? There's yeah. like a Tumblr like, that culture blew- for real bros? Apparently there is. Apparently there's a big that, Tumblr that presence. That blew my mind. Yeah. And then she was like, yeah, it's like a big theory on Tumblr right now that Wade is gay and that him, him burning is like a metaphor for whatever. Is that true or not? And I was like, I mean, th- we definitely didn't write it like that, but or like that joke, it wasn't written. Yeah. The fr- that joke, you know, that joke is actually was an impromptu joke. Just like I didn't s- say it, but on set, Jimmy and Christian was like, oh, we had this funny idea where Wade, where your character like refuses a blunt and get her. We're going to have Getter basically question whether or not you burn. And maybe it'll be like a funny joke. We'll just try it one time. And I was like, okay, cool. Like it was like an onset thing that became, Jimmy and Christian came up with. That's It wasn't even in the script. <laughs> and it just became a thing through the whole series. Yeah, it became the biggest fucking thing with my character now. And then they wrote it into the <clears> second <throat> season for the whole thing. And then it ends with me burning for the, for the first time. That is so cool because that is that shit we're like, we've talked about where. The art like just goes beyond what's it what it's intended to be, and then people take it and like make it into something else. Yeah, yeah. that's fucking dope. Yeah, that's like very cool. I know to see. And now it, like, I'm kind of like when she said that I'm like, damn, like that would be a fucking great metaphor. Maybe yeah. he should be gay in the next yeah. season. Yeah, and then like and then like the fact that they call out that one line by Getter, he's like kind of gay. No offense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the fact that they're even like the wit is there to be like that. Like yeah, to tie it. I yeah. don't know. It's yeah, just, yeah. It, no, it, it's that's cool, man. That's yeah. like really being a fan of something. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, fucking some that dude at the airport freaked the fuck out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what <laughs> that dude was? He came up and he goes, "Dude was vagrant as a motherfucker." <laughs> he, was like, he was like, he looked at us. We're at the Philly airport, and he looked at me, and he was like, "Do I know you from somewhere?" And I was like. I don't know. First of all, fucking weird ass way <laughs> yeah. of introducing like that interaction. You know, <laughs> like why would you put that in? Why would you put that ball in my court? <laughs> Do I know you from somewhere? Oh, uh, let me, I don't know. Let me list off everything I've ever been associated with, and you can kind of just, just jump in when you recognize something. Okay, or just, or just been. Well, I was a cashier at um, at Bed Bath and Beyond for yeah, three yeah, months. exactly. Yeah, let me start from the beginning. Okay. I went to this preschool <laughs> and uh, and ring any bells so far? No. Okay. Calgary, well, Alberta. Maybe I any? should go further back. My father worked at Raytheon. <laughs> yeah. you, you ever heard this company? Yeah. My family actually immigrated from uh, Poland and you know, fucking. And so finally, I'm like, I I don't know, man. Do you? And he was like, What's your name? And I was like, Cody. Cody, what? Co. You're the dude from Real Bros. <laughs> And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. And he was like, whoa, my God, 
no way. <laughs> Can I get a picture? Like my friend and I are obsessed with real bros. So I was like, sure. I took a picture and then he got in his car and, and left. And I was like, that was that was pretty cool. Besides like the weird, do I know you from somewhere? It's uh, cool that someone just just from real bros. Yeah, just from real bros knows you. Well, um, his whole appearance and his swag was like weird because he was at the airport and he had something like rolled up in a sweater. Yeah. He didn't have luggage. Yeah. And some random car pulled up. <laughs> and he put that thing in the back, and he got in the front seat, and they took off. And I was just like, the fuck were they doing here? And he was holding his belt. Yeah. And his pants had, like, a fat hole in the ass. In the ass. <laughs> they were making shocker porn. That's what they were doing. <laughs> oh, shit. It was, someone needs to make a good shocker porn link. <laughs> I bet you someone's, like, right now is like, I got one. Yeah. They're sitting in their office right now. I got one. Put it in the comments, dude. Let's see it. Let's see it. What do you think it's going to be? <clears throat> Let's come up with some good porn or like good shocker domain names. Oh, uh, okay. Like, like, they're, they're always like unassuming. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Hog in the crate. Oh, okay. Hog in the crate.com. Yeah. Or how about like, how about like big pork down under? Yeah. Yeah. Dot com. Or Could even some like Australian shocker yeah. porn. Um, Salted coffee. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that is, dude. That sounds awful, bro. <laughs> the bowling pin dot com. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's another one? Uh, salted coffee. Salted coffee. Oh. That one. That one sounds gross. That, that one sounds bad. That one, like you click with one eye open. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else we got? Uh, f- fucking come in my ass dot com. in my ass. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something like. Oh damn it! How oh, are we like? How are we blanking this hard? Old nachos. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Old nachos yeah. or some sort of like <laughs> melted cheese. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stinkywiz dot com. <laughs> that would got me. <laughs> Stinkywiz. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a rapper. Stinky Wiz, dude. <laughs> Stinkywiz.edu. Dirtyprovolone.gov. <laughs> you can have that. Stinky Wiz. That should, that's got to be the next shocker porn website. Someone buy that domain, host something there that's gnarly, and send that shit to us. Oh, dude. Stinkywiz.com. You know, just part of my brain. What? Speaking of gnarly, dude. What? The fucking, this like uh, kink thing, the. Um, God, what is it called? It's where grown men love to wear diapers and shit them. Okay, it's like a, it's like a gamer, uh, just being a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> so ninja, <laughs> uh, dude, ninja fucking. <laughs> Are we doing this right now? <laughs> Are we doing this? I don't know, man. We don't have to do this. Oh. We don't have to do it. Uh, no, we don't have to do this. We've been sending, we've been sending back and forth his fucking Instagram stories. Of I like, mean, he just him. does some shit that's like he really does, dude. It's I don't know. <laughs> Ninja wilding out, bro. <laughs> just decked and all, Louis, bro. <gasps> Louis from head to toe, dude. Bro, how do you fucking buy dripping in Louis? Yo, man, I got. How do you buy all that Louis and still look like a gamer, dude? <laughs> Honey, why would you buy a Louis T-shirt that's just white? That's what I want to know. That's, just That's the, either the dumbest fucking thing ever or the richest shit of all time. I mean, Buying a white Louis t-shirt and then wearing it with a suit. That's ridiculous. That's uh, ridiculous. Definitely looked like a fucking... He looked like a missionary. Like, what the <laughs> He did not look like he was louis out at all. Anyways. Watch, watch, all like, watch all, like, future fashion. Just, like, become gamer shit. <laughs> Yo, bet you they come for the gamer fucking swag. It's coming, dude. What are you talking about? Like oh, high mean, fashion, high yeah, fashion. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna come yeah. for gamer shit. Yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna like, man. They're gonna steal. They're gonna steal our shit. It's so mm-hmm. tough. Yeah. Fucking hoodie zipped up to the neck. Mm-hmm. Hoodie on with the with with a fitted cap down to the eyebrows. Fucking uh, like a like a Louis gamer chair, where yeah. like the top, you know, yeah, it has like the Louis upholstery yep. on the top. Yeah. You can just. You know, maybe even like a, some kind of 
like you know, you know when girls take pictures in Bentleys or Rolls Royce, and they show the head. Yeah, yeah, they they always cork their head to the side so that you can see the logo right behind their head. Stupidest fucking thing. Maybe like one of those, you know, like a cool like LV on the on the fucking headrest of the gamer chair. That'd be the fucking worst. Yeah, that'd be the fucking worst. Yeah, there is like man, the game gamer world is is it's in a tough place right now. How how so? All the game, all the incels feel like they're getting pushed. <laughs> all the true gamers. <laughs> Gaming's becoming cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like, cause all the, <coughs> all the thought be gone are... shit. Yeah, gamers feel like they're they're being uh, forgotten and washed away. The true culture of, of, who wh- what it really came from, bro. You think there's really people out there defending the true culture of gaming? <clears throat> yeah, bro. Really, dude? What the that's fuck a thing. Dude, I don't know the Twitch. I don't know the dude's name, but he had like a viral clip of like hit this dude going aggro over like women streaming. He's like these fucking thoughts. Oh yeah, the train guy, train something, yeah, train racks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that shit. Oh or, yeah, man. A lot of, lot of, lot of gamers are on board with that. So what was he saying? I, I mean, they just feel like you know, girls came through and like now they're you know, ooh, I'm a, I'm a gamer, but you know, it's just like. It's just to get money and to be a cam girl. Okay. But instead of showing vagina, they just, you know, show their hands playing Fortnite. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but whatever, man. I don't know. I'm not too versed in that. That shit is just so... <laughs> I just wonder if there's, like, an actual, like, movement of people that are, like, no, re- like, I, like save gamer culture. Like, I, sa- I, like <laughs> say, like, Dorito Fingers or something we need to, like, save and, like, ha- and, like, anti-socialism <laughs> anti-socialism I, dude i'm already knowing where you're going with this just be i think we're in the first stage of that because right now it's I, like sarcastic yeah gamers rise up <coughs> but it's coming dude you think there's gonna be actual the, like a, the a gamer, group of dudes that are like no like the, the gaming's not cool and it it oh it, it, <laughs> it needs to remain not cool get like identity politics and gamer yeah yeah gamerism mm-hmm <laughs> I don't even want to make comparisons, but they just become this fucking, yeah, just like some, oh, dude, traditionalist group. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the old ways. Yeah. Damn. Shit yourself on stream. Uh Don't wash your hands. Uh Do not shower. Yeah. We will remain who we always were. Gamers. (laughs) That's funny. That's definitely funny. There's going to be like a, they're going to come up with like a, like a slur. For like for you know, new gamers, yeah. For normie gamers, for Chad gamers, yeah, yeah. That's that's what it chambers. is. Yeah, chamber. Look at these fucking chambers. <laughs> <laughs> these Chads and Chadettes taking over, <laughs> ruining what is ours. Yeah, bro. <coughs> Look at Ninja dressing all Louie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. What the, I do you? This is not related to shit. Do you ever have moments where we're on stage and we're just like, I don't know, get these moments like disbelief. I'm like, how the fuck? Oh, yeah, definitely. 100%. It's crazy. I just don't. I have this hard thing. I'm like, we don't. Or I feel like I don't deserve this shit. Yeah, no. Me too. I, I feel the exact the same way. Weirdest shit. Exact same way. And I'm like, I'm up there the whole time and I'm like, God, man, I really hope everyone's having a good time. <laughs> hey, people seem to love the show yesterday. They yeah. we got a lot of really, really positive tweets. Yeah. That people of people enjoying it. So I know it's hard during comedy. It's really hard because you, especially when we're on stage together, because we have so much time where we can like one of us is talking, the other one's just kind of like looking at the audience and like thinking and you thinking. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So like you know, you're not really actively performing when that's happening. Of course, I'm like listening to what you're saying, trying to like pipe in and stuff like that. But like you know, you really have a second to like observe oh, yeah. the crowd, and there's always people that aren't laughing. Always, right? Yeah. Like there's some people that are really good, like you know the energy is super high. You can tell they laugh, they lo- love the show because mm-hmm. they're laughing throughout their whole thing. And some people, you look at them, and they're not laughing, right? But they're yeah. they're paying attention, and so you think like, are they just? It's weird. It's a weird thing because yeah. they could be definitely enjoying the show. That's just how they express it. Yeah. Or they could be hating the show. Yeah. Which is what I assume. Yeah. Well, I mean, like uh, I love pointing those people out in the show, and uh, you know, just being like, "Hey, man, you all right?" And like the dude, I I. I talked to yesterday who was like, had his hands on the railing. He's disappointed we didn't roast him. 
Oh, yeah, no, I saw that. He DM'd me. He's like, I'm really let down. You guys didn't roast me. He's like, I had a great time. So I'm like, well, shit, okay. Yeah. Like, I guess, you know, we just got to trust that everyone's Mm -hmm. having a good time. Um, And in honor of that, man, uh, you look like you don't get enough fucking calcium, dude. Drink some milk. (laughs) Your neck look weak as shit. No, that's what you can't fucking (laughs) roast a a grown man by telling him to drink milk, you weirdo. You're the only grown man I know that drinks milk. First, You're the only one. Me? Yes. You're the only grown man I know that actively drinks milk. No, talk to Matt. Matt RTM? No, Doan. Matt Doan? Yeah. He's yeah, milk- but, but yeah, but he was a fucking he he drinks it like cuz his bones need it. What? His bones don't need that shit. Yeah, he was like a skinny he was like a fucking rail thin dude for like what ever. The, what the fuck am I? I guess. I mean, I don't know. I feel I'm- like you eat enough food. Like he like yeah, no, I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, fine. You and Matt. Only two grown men I know that actively drink milk. No, and you know what? I used to pound it when I was, like, lifting heavy, and I put on, like, those 10 or 15 pounds, and then my heart <laughs> is in a bad place. <laughs> yeah. So now I don't get to do that anymore. Okay. okay. So now it's like a, when I can have it, it's like it's like oh, a, it's like a treat. It's like a delicacy for you now? No, it's like a nice cold glass of milk. No. no <laughs> Just wind down at the end of the day with a little cold? nightcap, little Cool glass of milk. And then I take my nap nap. I go nine nine. <laughs> little milk stash. Yeah. And I go nine nine. <laughs> Drink a little I look milky. at myself in the mirror. I go, got milk? <laughs> mm. <laughs> then I go nine nine. <laughs> nah, dude. I I just, I was mainly drinking that shit because uh, fucking all that Advil I've been taking. Mm. Can't do it on an empty stomach. Yeah, Otherwise, okay, fair enough. I usually don't drink milk at all. Mm-hmm. It's, man, I fucking, I hate I, this. I love that. What? That I'm in this situation where I want to put on weight, but I, it's like I don't know how. Just eat. But I can't. Yeah. Not the way I want to. Mm. Well, I can't, you got to start drinking smoothies from the gla- from the thing again. Even, but even I, even that now that that smoothie I used to pack that full of shit. Now I I can't. Why? It's like it's just oh because of cholesterol. Cholesterol. Oh, it's like, I see. Cholesterol I see. is a motherfucker, yeah. Yeah. dude. I see. Like the only way I can consume more is if I become like a power lifter, like some like Olympic fucking routine where I'm just really pushing weight and burning calories and it's just, you know. Yeah, and you can't eat fish either. No. That's like it's just I'll like, figure it out. Yeah. I'm just gonna get penis fillers. Fuck it. Yeah, exactly. fuck it, dude. Let's just do that. <laughs> dude, what I love say? I love the girl yesterday at like near the beginning. What did she do? She stood up and she goes, you guys, what did she say? She wanted us to crowd surf. Oh, yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. she goes, do it, pussy. Yeah. And she stands up. Yeah. And just like remains standing. And it's just like, yeah, I'm the one that said that. I was like, yeah. this is the most Philly thing in the entire world. Some girl just like just owning the Like, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. That was me. Yeah. So crazy. So funny. Also, I mean, I pointed this out in Boston and, you know, I like asked the crowd. I'm like, yeah, do all girls in Boston say bro? And then yeah, weir- bro. weirdly, they all like half of them started cheering. <laughs> like, yeah. And I'm like, that shit is disgusting. The first woman I talked to in Boston, <laughs> we're at this sh- this store, and I go, um, you have this, do you have this sweater in the small? And she goes, nah, bro, whatever's up on the rack, that's what we got. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> I just imagine and I said this at the show, but I just imagine her like, just going down on some dude being like, Yeah, you like that, bro? <laughs> 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 like that, bro? Is that shit nice? <laughs> you like the way I suck your dick, bro? Bro, tell me if you need some mo. <laughs> some mo. Put some more on there, bro. <laughs> Just for you. Yeah, bro. Come fuck my shit, bro. <laughs> Crush me harder, bro. Yeah, what the deep fuck? inside there, bro. Dude, and then, oh, when we were in Boston, the most Boston shit possible could have happened. We're just walking down the street, and this guy is blocking a dude on a bike, and the dude on the bike... <laughs> Is like, hey, yo, yo, and he's like hitting the dude's car and the guy doesn't respond to him. And then some guy on the street goes, yo, Big Z, homeboy's <laughs> trying to talk to you. <laughs> Big Z. <laughs> Big Z? Yo, Big Z. You think they knew each other or that was just like his nickname for the guy? No, I think it was just like a weird <laughs> nickname. Just like, yo, Big Z. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Boston's really beautiful, though. No, it is. I got to say, we went in, across the bridge from Cambridge to Boston mm-hmm. and spent some time over there. Really nice. Really, really nice city. Yeah, we picked a great day to show up. Yeah. It was... Uh, everyone, the energy was high because everyone was going to the parade. Yeah. I still we were going to get a big wet wet smooch from TB himself. 
feel bad still from you know we'll, we'll go back dude and do a proper venue man. yeah yeah we'll do an actual I, venue there because and we've said this a couple of times but I, you know, I just want to reiterate like for some of these standing venues the whole point was like our agents didn't really know who was going to buy a ticket and some of these areas like very well only like 50 of you could have showed up yeah and they just would have dropped down chairs and it would have been a small ass show um so it's just it's wild that you know, we're in this position, you know, it's, it's a, I guess a great problem to have. And I mean, it's just, I'm like inspired. Like when we get home, like I just want to go home, write more material. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, I was thinking we should actually, actually try and start doing like a weekly, weekly comedy show at home. Yeah. N- at, after this we should. Yeah. Just have like, you know, have 10 people do 10 minute sets, whatever the fuck. Yeah. I mean, weekly is really hard to promote. We don't and, even need to fucking promote it. Well, all they, we got to do is talk about it on the podcast. People will come. Yeah. It's, it's like a 50, 100 person show or something like that. Right? Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, I guess we do a small room at the improv. Yeah. Weekly's just, I think, I think bi weekly is smarter. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I think bi weekly is smarter. Any yeah, promoter bro. will tell you that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. But I, I think that's, I, I definitely think that's, that'd be good for us. And, and we can work shit out and, you know, we can see more of you. And, and I know a lot of you like want to, you know, come through to the VIP, but it just hasn't worked out. And like, you know, hopefully in LA, maybe we can make that more of a possibility just by doing these smaller shows and yeah. seeing more people. But yeah, we should do that. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I fuck, man, I, I can't say it enough though. I like, I love being <laughs> able to do this and I'm just so thankful. It's just crazy. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who's come out to the show so far. No. Yeah. And, and who's enjoyed themselves and, and future shows and, once this motherfucker gets his green card right, mm-hmm. we're gonna go all over this bitch, mm-hmm. Canada, baby. Yeah, I mean, and I feel more. like we can, I think we can finally say it. Yeah, that's the that's the goal. Uh, we we are gonna get out to Europe and oh oh yeah, you know what? Shout out to a couple people. We had some people fly in yesterday from fucking New Zealand, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Big ups, man. And they had fun. They had a good time. Yeah, they they good said time. they had a really good time. So that's huge. How about that? And tonight is Baltimore. Fucking looking forward to it. Be more you. And um, yeah, we all we got new merch coming out soon as mm-hmm. well. I know I said that last time or the episode before. Mm-hmm. We just like finalized it, so that should be going up within the next week. Yeah, the boy Brandon cooked up something very cool. Shout out Brandon! It's um it's very so keep an eye on TMGPod.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, um, man, wait, <laughs> I got a fucking. <laughs> I just like I just gotta get this off my chest. Okay, well. The shit off my chest. Mm-hmm. The shit right from my husband's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the shit. Man, that, that's like the new Winamp quote instead of it really kicks the llama's ass. Uh-huh. It's the shit from your husband's <laughs> ass. <laughs> it's the turds fresh from your husband's His ass. ass. <clears throat> All right. So I meant to say this last episode, but I want to say it now. Mormon, have you ever known Mormons? Yeah. Cause there's like a good per, like good population of Mormons where I grew up, and those motherfuckers love basketball. Were okay. they like that where yep. you grew up? Yep. They love basketball. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. And like there's that like super popular video of like some missionaries in like Detroit or some shit just like playing street ball with some random dude, and the uh, it's like the, the kid's got a jumper and he's just draining threes. Okay. And it's like these two dudes in Detroit one would be like, it's, it's a great video. It's so wholesome. It makes okay. me feel good. But okay. I was thinking, do like since more since Mormons love basketball, do they have like a stat tracker for all their missionaries? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Just like full spread, like NBA style. <laughs> How many people like they've converted? Conversions, yeah. you know, like just all that shit. Uh-huh. You know, conversion percentage. I like that. How accurate they are. You know, years in the game. <laughs> do, they, do they have like you know? Divisional teams. Doors, and, yeah. How many doors they've knocked on. Yeah. Shit like, like that's yeah. like the base level stat. <laughs> doors to conversion. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my God. It's like shooting percentage. That's good. Yeah. That's a good bet. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. You should flesh that one out. Yeah. We fucking, oh. what, where did that come from? Flesh that out. I have shocker porn probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's real- another one. Flesh that out dot com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised we've never got a flashlight sponsorship. <laughs> I they I heard that's been done for me, dude. I've 
Yeah, no, you did. I'll be just being for us. I yeah. guess you know, the flashlight was. You're very, talking about an actual sponsorship where we're like, that's, re- that was read very it. 2015, 24. The flashlight's not that cool anymore. Yeah, exactly. Sex now toys it's all are about crazy now. Yeah, now it's all about the robot that sucks yeah. your dick. Do you see oh, that new one? The one where it was like all y'all, all y'all hoes better learn how to bro, suck dick or something, and it's some that robot guck like, was wah, wah. crazy. <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> guck. I was like, I was like intimidated by that. <laughs> I was like, no, what? <laughs> I went back to my, uh, <laughs> this is how you could tell I'm sensitive. <laughs> what? You don't, don't just ram it in her throat. Yeah, dude. yeah. Just give it, give it's it a, a little. Yeah, it's a robot. Yeah, just be nice. Be, you don't, don't just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Hate that, dude. <laughs> God, let her breathe, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Touch her hair and a yeah, little just, bit. And yeah, just make, her, make her feel confident. Yeah. You know, just the sensitive guck. <laughs> this guck. God damn! What time is it, dude? Four ten. Go, man. I gotta. We gotta rest before we do this. Yeah, we have to. Um, shit. Do we even have the bus tonight? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. <sighs> Hope so. Yeah. I want to go to an airport. Yo. Um. Episode sixty nine in the can. Um. This is great. We have how many more weeks left? Two more, two and a half more weeks. So two more episodes on the road, probably. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I it, think so. I'm sorry. Sorry if these are like weird. We just. Yeah, it's. I mean, damned. I mean, I, the one thing that we will do going forward is like, if we're on the road, we're gonna build in time to like make these like on an off day when we're rested and. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, gonna, yeah. Because yeah. you no, know, we don't want to be in a situation where we're not making the pot. Yeah. So, um, two and a half weeks left, and we're back home. Um, potentially new Love Island mm-hmm. next week. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, there's a, so, so f- cross your little fingers. Look out for it. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the deal is. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys. See you next week. Gang. Gang. Hi.